Hello. As you can see, I have not set up my fancy camera, nor have I done my hair, um, or changed out of my pajamas. But I wanted to talk about this while it was still fresh in my mind. Obviously something very important in the TV community just happened. The finale of How I Met Your Mother. I have followed all nine seasons. I am an avid fan. I have my favorite couples, Barney and Robin, Ted and the Mother. By the way, if you don't want any spoilers, don't watch past this point, because I'm going to talk about the finale in quite some detail. And you probably, if you haven't seen the finale or if you actually liked it, then you probably don't want to continue this video because you'll probably just get annoyed. So I was thinking what I would do is I would sort of go through the episode and make an argument about why I did not like it. And <laughs> I'm so emotionally fragile right now. <gasps> So the show actually starts with this really cute moment where Lily meets Robin at the bar when, you know, everyone sort of first meets her and she tells Barney and Ted, you know, if you guys sleep with her, one of you has to marry her. That's the only reason why any of you can sleep with her. And then they, of course, flash to Barney and Robin's wedding and they're like, oh my God, he did it. He actually married her. An adorable moment. Am I right? And then, you know, Ted sees the mother and it's love at first sight. And he's like, whoa. And... Then we find out about five minutes later that Barney and Robin, three years down the line, are having problems and they get divorced. And I get that divorce happens all the time. It is a part of life. But at the same time, why would they devote so much time to this relationship just, just to turn it off? Just like that. It's something that people were so invested in because of Barney's character development. If you don't know who Barney is... You shouldn't be watching this right now. So Barney is a man -ho. Is that politically correct these days? I don't I don't I don't know what the kids are saying. And it turns out that all this change that he's been going through for Robin, all this development that he's been undergoing, has all been for nothing because he's just gonna divorce her and go back to his old ways. So this is a good lesson that people don't change and that everyone is just pretty much gonna stay the same no matter how much they grow with someone. One of my two favorite couples, down for the count, we've got one left, Ted and the mother. There was an entire episode this season about the mother. I, I assumed that this was just like quick character development, like get you to like this girl, you don't know her, but you're gonna like her now because you know we haven't introduced her. And then we find out that Robin on the side still has the hots for Ted. And so people are more focused on that than focusing on this beautiful relationship that the mother and Ted have. Like, is this whole show just supposed to be about Robin? And if that's the case, then why did they make, turn her into such an awful person in the last episode? Like, Robin is my favorite character. She's hilarious. She broke down, like, every trope of the traditional sitcom female. And in this last episode, she's cold, she is distant, she's not funny, she just made me not like her. And gee, it only took an hour for them to do that. There's this line that sticks with me that the character Lily said earlier in the show, like, I don't know, the fifth season or something. And she tells Ted, she says, this is not how your love story ends. And I just don't think that this series ended in the way that would have made his love story complete. Because he found his soulmate. And then she's taken away from him and then he goes back to the girl that he was irrationally obsessed with in the first season. Um, I think a lot of people are really disappointed and... It just kind of seemed like a... Like a... Like a cop-out. You know, I was done with Robin and Ted. I had no... I was so happy about Barney's character development. I was so happy about all the things that were changing in the characters. I was so happy that Ted finally got over Robin. I was so happy for him because that was a relationship that he idealized so much. I'm going to end it by saying that TV finales are supposed to wrap up the series. They're supposed to tie up any loose ends. They're supposed to make you cry. They're supposed to make you miss the show, but be happy that it ended the way that it did. And I do not think that How I Met Your Mother achieved this. I'm not happy with the finale. 
I'm sorry if you are and this video is making you angry, but you could have stopped it at any time. I have homework to do. It's going to be very jumbled. My teachers are all going to be very confused. Hopefully by next week I will be less angry. I will be. I'll be fine. I'll go watch The Notebook or something with a happy ending. Wait, The Notebook doesn't have a happy ending. Love isn't real. <laughs>